Hi everybody, this is Annie Buck from Acorn Internet Services. I am the Pre-Development and Minor Development Project Manager for Acorn and today I'll be presenting Educational Byte number 014. Today's uh, Educational Byte will be about how to make a text change with Snippet Master Pro. Snippet Master Pro is a content editing system that we have installed on many of our current hosting customers' websites. It's an easy content editor. You can make text changes, some photo changes, um, and just basically do some small changes to your website without having to come back to your webmaster um, to make the changes and have to pay for it. So today what we're going to talk about is how to make a text change. So let's go out to Firefox. Firefox is the only browser that you should use to work on Snippet Master Pro. If you try to work on Snippet Master Pro in Internet Explorer, your file, your pages will break. And as a result, you'll have to come back to Acorn and then pay to have it fixed. So just go ahead and avoid that and always use Firefox. So today we're going to start by opening a file. You always want to start in this area here where it says select a file. Stay away from the folders for the most part. Um, so very, very, very few websites will have information in different folders. Most websites will always have all of their files within this area that says select a file. So you click the drop down and you see a blue section. Some websites will have all just blue sections and some will have the red sections. The blue section is where you want to stay. These are uh, pages within the website or files within the website that have been tagged especially for Snippet Master so that we don't have um, damage to the files from um, hitting other pieces of the website that would cause that page to break. So stay within your blue area and what you're going to do is look for your page name. When you find the page name that you want to work on, click it and then click open. And what will happen is the piece of the page that you can edit will open up. So in this case we're looking at Grand Victorian in Louisiana's comments page. So we're talking about a text edit here. So what we want to do is change some text within this page. Or maybe add some text. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and we're going to add a new comment. So what we'll do is click at the bottom of the first paragraph and remember that we're always going to stay out of the first paragraph on pretty much any page particularly if it has a link embedded in it because these are pages that have been marketed so we want to stay away from those. So I'm going to put my uh, clicker here, I'm going to click that and then I'm just going to hit the enter button and that will put me on a new line and then I'm going to type in my quote. So you just type your information in and then what we want to do is put the person's name and state abbreviation below the comment. Well we don't want to hit enter because what will happen is we'll go down two spaces. So to make sure that we only go down one space we're going to hit the shift button and then hit enter. And that will take us to the next line. And in this case it looks like we have two little lines here. So we're going to put the two lines and then the name. Except for we noticed that I wrote and here but it, everywhere else it's an ampersand. So to make that change I'm just going to highlight the word and and type in the ampersand. As you're doing text changes on your pages you want to be very extremely careful that you don't touch these little hash lines. If you can see those little gray lines there, those lines are your tables and if you bump those, knock them out, kick them out, you will break the page. So just stay away from those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to preview this text change. So we come up here to our preview button and click that and that will take us to the page and show us what that looks like and it all looks great. While you're on the page just kind of check and make sure that your links are still working and everything looks right. Then close your preview button and click save. Then view in new window and you can see as we open this window a little bit more so that we can see the whole page 
there is our text edit. So that is how you make a text change. Now, if you want to delete something, go back and re-edit. It'll take you right back to the same spot. So remember I said we have to be very careful not to hit those hash lines. So one thing that you want to avoid doing is backspacing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight that whole area. We're not touching the hash lines and we're going to click our delete button. And that will take that away without hitting the hash lines. Again, we're going to preview. Always, 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 always preview. And then we look and that line is gone. Everything looks as it should. We're going to close that preview window and we're going to click save. Then we can view in the new window and we can see how that all looks nice. So that is how you change a text within Snippet Master Pro. And again, make sure you always use Firefox. Thank you for joining me today for our Educational Bytes presented by Acorn Internet Services.